Aries. So, this is for the sun in Aries or for the rising sign. And this is what I'm bringing you this month. Five key points, five key dates, five key life areas that you are going to be affected by Aries, sun in Aries, rising sign in Aries for the month of August 2023. Let's start with the fact that this month we're going to see a Mercury retrograde. We're also, yeah, I know, we're also going to see all seven cosmic bodies retrograde. So this is going to be a little bit of a slowdown this month. And of course, Chiron, the wounded healer that's been in your sign for some time now, is also retrograde, giving you opportunities to heal more of those inner wounds that are perhaps open and a little bit sensitive and tender. So let's look right at the beginning of the month because on the first, we have the full moon. But the first full moon, because we have two full moons this month, but I'll come to the second one later. The first full moon is on the first and it's in Aquarius. And this full moon for you, Aries, is all about how you want to manage your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. What do you want to manifest? Are you getting yourself on the right frequency? Are you trying to choose things that take up too much of your time, that cost you in the sense of how you value yourself? Can you actually put the energy in to what you want to do in a way that is not going to be um, like cutting corners on quality of the work that you're doing or the creative projects that you're doing. It's an interesting full moon, but check out my full moon video because I go into your sign in more depth in that video. Let's move on to point number two. So secondly, we have a new moon in Leo. And it's in your fifth house of creativity and fun. This has to be good. However, it's squared by my big out of boy Uranus. Uranus, our planet of surprises and the unexpected, in Taurus, in your second house of finance. Mm. Be careful you don't splash out on something that really does unexpectedly put you in a little bit of a difficult situation with your bank manager or your um, bank account in general. So just be mindful of anything that you might want to splash out on this month. And also uh, we have Mars, our planet of passion and energy, your ruling planet Aries. Mars is in Virgo enabling you to pay a little bit more attention to the quality of the words you use, how you put yourself across. And it's actually trining that Uranus, that planet of the unexpected in Taurus. So this is giving you more of an opportunity to perhaps, um, well, say the right thing. So that if you need to charm your bank manager, it might be a little bit easier because you will have thought it through with that Mercury and Mars in Virgo, because Mercury's in Virgo and there's a retrograde this month, but I'll come to that in a minute. Let's look at point number three. So point number three, August 23rd, the sun will move from Leo into Virgo, into your sixth house. So this is gonna give a lot more focus to your routine, your daily routine. It's shedding its light on this part of your life. Also remember, the sixth house can be about health. What have you been overlooking with regards to your physical health or even your psychological health? Because I feel that um, the sun moving into Virgo in the sixth house is going to highlight some of these health issues that you might need to pay attention to. Now wait for it, here we go. We have Mercury retrograde in Virgo and it's on the, 
it's from the 23rd and it's till the 20th to god i'll get this right in a minute right let's start again mercury is retrograde in virgo in your sixth house of your day-to-day -day routine and health matters and it's from the 23rd of august until september the 15th whoa i got that out that is really quite a miracle goodness knows what's going on with this energy i think i'm already experiencing mercury retrograde but anyway i think you get the general gist of it so it's not actually till the end of the month and remember we've also got venus retrograde still in leo and actually on the 23rd it squares which is a hard angle a challenging angle it squares jupiter my big outer boy of expansion luck opportunity in taurus in your second house of finance so this again is a kind of a little bit of a heads up a warning about how you manage your finances around this time i think in general throughout the month of august you need to be a little bit careful with your with your finances okay aries let's move on to point number four because point number four is on august the 27th we've now got the sun in virgo in the sixth house and it will be in opposition to retrograde saturn my big outer boy of timing restrictions of boundaries in pisces in your 12th house now this is the inner you your psyche your soul so there's a sense around this time that you need to be uh mindful of how you how you deal with what's going on on an inner level if issues are coming up for you that um make you feel emotional then maybe you've actually just got to allow that kind of piscean energy of your 12th house to let some tears flow if that's what needs to happen also on this day your ruling planet mars moves into libra which of course is your seventh house of significant relationships so that is very helpful and it's going to inject some enthusiasm life energy sexuality into all your close personal relationships well not all of them because maybe you just want one in particular to have that energy <laughs> put into it i think you know what i mean <laughs> so, oh god aries um so just just know that august could be nice from the 26th 27th of august with mars in your seventh house because you'll get some harmony and balance and also a nice feeling of passion and energy into your personal relationship and maybe you have relationships that just need a bit of assertive attention also at this time uranus on the 29th and this is a biggie in your second house of finance turns retrograde this is taurus remember uranus is all about shocks the unexpected you might get an unexpected bill at this time something you'd overlooked something you'd forgotten about bear that in mind now uranus is going to be retrograde from august the 29th until january the 27th of 2024 now i will talk about that in more detail at a later date let's move on to point five because for you uh aries this is where the full moon happens again in pisces and this time it's in your 12th house this is a blue moon it's in your 12th house this is the inner you this is about your feelings your emotions how you do you remember i was saying a bit earlier that there may be some emotions that need to be expressed i think you've been doing 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 i think there's been an awful lot of activity in your life aries and i really feel that you need some time to just process 
some of these feelings because this full moon is actually conjunct retrograde Saturn in Pisces. So it's it's actually, um, it, it's, well, it's asking you to slow down. It's asking you to take your time with things. Aries, Mars is your ruler. You tend to go galloping ahead. This is saying, slow down. Now, Uranus that is now retrograde at this point on the 31st, in Taurus, in your second house of finance, trines Pluto on the same day. And Pluto is retrograde in Capricorn in your 10th house. You might get an unexpected um, bonus to do with whatever work you do. Um, if you're not working, it could be a kind of surprising twist or turn in something you're trying to initiate to do with whatever hobbies or passions you have. So that sort of energy can be around. So all in all, Aries, an interesting month ahead. And thank you for coming and listening. Sorry I stumbled over some of it. Um, as you know, Southern Europe is experiencing extreme temperatures at the moment. I'm in my new studio. I'm trying to get everything right. It's not always easy. It's not always easy to look completely professional, but I'm doing my best. So in the meantime, take care. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next time, Aries. Bye for now.